All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome to a long-awaited, hopefully, uh, gameplay video. I know, uh, you know, you would think with everything going on in the world, we'd have all the free time in the world to to record, but uh, unfortunately, nothing's actually changed in my world. Uh, I work from home anyway, uh, and so everything's pretty much the same for me, if not more busy. And so, uh, unfortunately, that just meant that. I didn't have time to record you guys some gameplay, so I do certainly apologize, but we are back, and I am very excited to be recording some gameplay. Uh, one note before we jump into this, the podcast episodes have kind of been on hold. Uh, we're trying to do our part to kind of stay at home and not uh, not help the spread of uh, the coronavirus and or, and all that stuff, so uh, we're trying to avoid all that, and so we're, we're staying home, not really worried about the podcast quite as much. Uh, but I would like to jump back into this, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna hopefully do that today. So uh, our deck today is Esper Super Friends. So it's very much uh, a control style deck. However, it doesn't run a ton of counters, uh, and in fact, the list that I was using as sort of a base template uh, actually ran two Kaya uh, instead of two Thassa's Intervention. I don't have any wild cards for that. Thassa's Intervention is a bit of a catch-all card, so I thought I'd give it a shot here. Uh, a little bit tricky with a mana base, so we'll kind of see, but. Uh, to to kind of go through this, so we've got Ugin the Ineffable. We're going to start at the top and kind of work our way down uh, as a really interesting card. So this is just kind of a one to blow things up, but it also uh, gives you an option for spitting out some creatures. So uh, it gives you a little bit of a long game, which is great. Uh, Liliana, Death Horde General, obviously a fantastic finisher for a control deck. Uh, spits out a lot of tokens, destroys the board. It does basically everything you need it to do, and it draws you cards. Uh, works very, very well with Ugin the Ineffable, in fact. Uh, Dream Trawler is also up here. You can't really not run Dream Trawler uh, in a control deck. Uh, Ashiok works again very, very well with these uh, spitting out these little guys that then can die to Liliana and you draw cards. So really, really good synergy there. Uh, a great finisher as well. Elspeth Conquers Death, a, a, a bit of a catch-all for some big things. Uh, Elspeth Conquers Death has been very, very strong in my opinion. Uh, so very, very happy to see that. Uh, we do have Shatter the Sky as a four of. We we need sweepers, uh, so this is a great one to have. I really, really love Shatter. Uh, we have a one Atris Oracle of Half Half Truths, excuse me, uh, as a way to kind of get a little bit of card advantage, uh, and it gives you kind of a a threat in the mid game. Uh, it does have menace, so it's a little bit trickier to actually deal with for some people. So uh, I do kind of like that. Uh, we'll we'll see how it plays out. Uh, Elite Guard Mage as a flying. Uh, threat, but also something that draws you a card and gains you a little bit of life, so uh, keeps you alive for sure. Uh, and speaking of which, Oath of Kaya, a great way to gain some life, but also deal some damage, so you can hopefully deal with some of these early game threats from the aggro decks. Uh, Teferi, of course, four of, you gotta have Teferi, absolutely powerful, powerful three-drop Planeswalker. Narset, kind of the same way, shuts down a lot of uh, opposing control decks, but also uh, gives you a way to dig to whatever you're looking for. Uh, helps you pull out more Planeswalkers or just more more things like Shatter the Sky to deal with whatever you need to. Uh, Thassa's Intervention, again, I kind of threw in here as a way to dig through your deck, but also counter some stuff, so it gives you a little bit of uh, it, it, a little bit of flexibility, which I think is good. Uh, Thought Erasure, obviously great hand destruction, also helps you dig through your deck. Dovin's Veto, great way, again, to deal with opposing non-creature spells. It's very, very efficient. Uh, only running a two of, again, these are the only two counter spells really in the deck. Uh, we don't like a lot of them in this because, again, we're just trying to get to these Planeswalkers. Uh, Erebos' Intervention is a great way to, uh, again, add flexibility. It gives you a, a removal spell, gains you a little bit of life, or uh, helps you deal with the graveyard. So really, really powerful. Our land situation is fairly uh, straightforward. We do run one of each of these three castles, so Lockthwain, Vantress, and Ardenvale. Uh, a few basic lands, no Fabled Passage, but that's only because we're not running too many uh, actual basics. A lot of this is Temples and Shock Lands. So uh, what we're going to do is run this through some ranked play. We'll see how we do. Uh, I have not yet played with this deck, so this is going to be a first for me, uh, but I am very excited about it. I think it's a, I think it's a sweet deck. Uh, I really, really like it. Um, I really enjoy Super Friend builds. The last one that I really played with was the, uh, the what was it? It was Jeskai Super Friends. It was with uh, Sarkon uh, as kind of the win con, uh, which was a really sweet deck, I thought. Um, and yeah, this is a great keep. Uh, let's do this. I don't believe we have our audio on. Turn that up just a bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, 
and let's see what we can do. Uh, in fact, I actually don't think... Give me one second, guys. Oh, we do have audio on. Okay. Oh, it's... Uh, pardon me, guys. There we go. Let's get a little more audio. Okay. Uh, sorry, guys. Our audio was not uh, not there. So, um, yeah. So, uh, to, to kind of talk about relevant things, uh, I hope everybody... Uh, wherever you're watching, U.S., outside of U.S., doesn't matter. Uh, I hope you guys are staying safe. Uh, I know, obviously, there's a lot of crap going on with this uh, coronavirus stuff. Very, very unfortunate, and hopefully everybody's doing their part to, to avoid uh, either picking it up or transferring it. We certainly don't want that. Um, and we're, again, kind of trying to do our part with that. We, we certainly don't want to make things worse than it already is, so uh, we'll... We'll continue to do so until we see fit to uh, to kind of start back on the podcast. So, um, opponent kind of taking a while. We will see what they want to do. Uh, and we're hitting right at the end of the season, I guess. We're about to reset, so uh, we will, I guess, not be platinum for long. I honestly don't know how that all works. So, our opponent even there is the question. Uh, I hate when things like this happen. Like, sometimes things happen and you have to step away, and I hate that. But, like, you know, if you're, if you're being that person, please don't be that person. <laughs> All right. Um... Yeah, I'm kind of okay with keeping that. Also, don't like to concede in these situations because that's just feeding into it. That's not good. <sighs> uh, the reason I'm keeping that on top, by the way, uh, one, it helps us dig for more lands. Two, it's great with Teferi. Uh, it gives us a turn four play just in general, but also uh, you can bounce it uh, and then you just kind of start over again. All good stuff. Get that value. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, one important thing, uh, the part of the reason Will and I have, we, we've hung out once since all of this has started. Part of the reason that we're kind of avoiding it uh, is because he does have a baby and not that this is like I mean, the older population is certainly the population I'd be worried about, but obviously not good for babies either. So that was obviously not great. Uh, so we'll certainly hopefully get some better games in there. Depending on time, we may count that as our first game, but uh, we'll we'll see how long these games actually go. Um, but he does have a baby, and I certainly don't want to, you know, aid in a bed getting a, a baby sick. That would be terrible. So uh, we're avoiding that. We did. Uh, so... We're nerds, obviously, uh, and so we did set up a Minecraft server uh, just for the fun of it, so we could kind of hang out on a server and like play some games that way, uh, just outside of outside of the world of Magic. So it's been fun, actually, very very fun. Yeah, we definitely keep this. It's pretty solid hand, actually. This bounces Oath, which is quite good. Tranquil Cove. Interesting. Yep. Let's go ahead and do this, and let's Thought Erasure here. Looks like they're a control deck as well. Uh, what do I care about more? I think, honestly, it's the Mystical Dispute. Oath is not going to be... We've already got one, but we don't really need another one. So next turn, we're probably looking to Teferi, expecting them to Banishing Light it. Uh, which is fine by us, because then, obviously, we get... We get a second Teferi, and we clear the way for Narset, which in this case is quite good. 
The other option here is to Thought Erasure again. Hmm. I think I'd rather draw the card. They don't have a counter up or anything. We'll just go ahead and bounce this. Not a huge deal. Just to draw a card. Uh, we could bounce the Birth of Miletus, but obviously that's not great for us. It just resets, so... Yep. Definitely, that's fine. Did get our fourth land. So, what do we need to do here is the question. Considering they had, we know they have three lands in hand, let's go ahead and shut down any uh, draw that they may get. And we'll go ahead and pull out Ashiok here. Shadow of the Sky, very decent, but not really against this deck. Uh, considering they're a control deck, they're just looking to get to like a Dream Trawler. So I kind of think we just do this. Okay, cool. That worked out very, very well. Shutting down their draw with Narset was definitely pretty key there, I think. Uh, it just keeps them from being able to really do anything, so... Uh, awesome. Good game. Uh, let's see if we can get another win. Uh, I That first game, obviously, very, very quick. Didn't really do anything. Um, depending on how long this game in particular, that second game wasn't very long either. So uh, we may be able to get a fourth game in. Ooh, this is an interesting one. Um, we do have the Teferi and the Dovin's Veto, so I'm going to keep this. Bit of a sketchy keep, though, not not going to lie, uh, but hopefully we can uh, get our get our swamp here, so that way we've got a lot more options. It looks like, again, we're against a control deck. Usually expect these games to go long. I'm just going to play this and be able to veto whatever they do here. Depending on what they do, if we can just Narset next turn again, that's such a good play. Just go ahead and counter that. I was pretty much going to counter anything that they did there, but uh, that was certainly a good one to have. Let's lock down with Narset. Let's activate. We'll get a second to Fairy. Okay. Not amazing. They still got a full group of cards here, so they could very easily have an answer here, but they do have to answer Narset. Go ahead and activate here. None of these are amazing for us. Hmm. I'm going to take the Ugin. I don't know if that's correct, I'll be honest, but we definitely need a land here. Still not getting it. Okay, uh, let's discard. Let's actually discard Oath. Um, we can't really play all these black spells anyway, uh, and they probably won't have a great target for it, so... Almost hope they field of ruin. <laughs> Deputy at attention. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Taking out to fairy. Land is good. Not amazing here, but it is good. Hmm. I'm going to leave Teferi up. Uh, don't really want to bounce the Deputy. Not worth it, really. Oh, duh. That was kind of stupid. Did have to make them attack for it, though, so that's kind of okay. We're definitely far behind in this game, though. Uh, yeah, that's going to be doing quite a lot. Uh, we're definitely pretty far behind. I don't know. That helps. Let's do this. Hmm. They're going to be able to get this back is the problem. 
two, three, four, five, six. Or they get to play it. So let's just do this. We'll keep that on top. Hmm. I'd really consider bouncing this, but I just don't think it's like they're going to get this back anyway, and then that just deals with the fairy. Maybe that's better. I don't know. Here we do get Dream Trawler, but they've got Agent coming next turn. Though we do get to give this Hexproof, I suppose. So, Good card. I think we just run Dream Trawler out. <clears throat> so here they're gonna probably age in a treachery in which case yeah just gonna go ahead and do this oh they were using it to didn't see what it was targeting my bad Wow, that's quite good. Very, very good. Let's see what we can do against this. Wow, time wipe. Okay. So what do we do? We attack. I think we do play Ugin. Blowing up the agent. So we blow this up, then we swing in and kill Narset here. Whoops. Nope, not what I meant. We gotta get rid of the Narset here. This is gonna leave them with essentially one of these two options. Uh, well, either one's actually quite good, so I could see them going either way. Uh, but this at least gives us, you know, some options. There we go. Definitely misplayed a few times this game, but I'm wondering uh, how this pans out. They put both on the bottom. My assumption is they just time wipe here. They're gonna swing in first, makes sense. I don't know why they would both attack, I can't. Both attack Ugin specifically. You might as well get two chip damage out on me, but that's fine. I think they, well, see, this is an interesting choice for them because they can time wipe, but which, are they just going to do the elite guard mage or are they going to do deputies so they can then deal with the Teferi again? Okay. So we get Teferi back. I'm kind of okay with that. throw this out hmm I'll choose that one 
shatter. That's okay. Do that. Bounce that and then draw a card. And let's see what they got. Cloudkin Seer. Now that's an interesting one. Not a card I expected to see. And we have two Oath of Kaias now. That's interesting. Let's go ahead and play this. Go ahead and scry. We'll keep that on top. Go ahead and plus. I mean, they've got quite a lot of time here, uh, which is not great, but. Uh, by the way, I kept the Shatter on top in case they get a Dream Trawler uh, or they start Castle Art Unveiling, um, just to give us more options here. And I think as long as this game is going, this will probably be our last, but. Okay, yeah. It's a good one. Got a lot of good stuff in their graveyard, too. Yeah, they can just... Well, no, they can't, actually. I'm sorry. Menace. Uh, I'm going to end the turn. Whatever they bring back, uh, I think that'll be a good time to shatter. We'll, we'll kind of see what how this plays out. Well, maybe this is a good... Well, no, we shouldn't, I guess, here. Ah, they didn't even. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, let's run this out. Maybe that was bad. Agent of Treachery. That's what I'm worried about. Yeah. That was probably a mistake then. Yep. Whoops. Should have just let that one go. Definitely misplaying. <laughs> yeah, they've got this game. Is that just to take a land? Okay. Should have tapped it first, but it's not going to matter that much. We'll see what we draw, but depending on that, we're, we're pretty screwed here. Five cards left. <laughs> Can I draw them out? Probably not, right? Is 
they draw four cards? Three, four. I mean, they have so many cards in hand, though. <clears throat> I definitely messed up, though. That was a lot of my fault. I should not have played into the Liliana. Yep, that's very, very good. Wow, yeah. The amount of barely hanging on is insane here. <laughs> Ashiok versus Ashiok? Wow. Interesting, interesting tech. Very interesting. Wow, failed to find. Wow, that sucks. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I think this is definitely going to be it. My misplays definitely didn't help. Um, knowing they had the Agent of Treachery in their graveyard was just a mistake. That should not have... Agent of Treachery, man. Such a good card. I hate that card, though. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and concede here. Uh, we definitely just misplayed that time, but uh, that's okay. Uh, it's still a very fa fun game, and these control matchups tend to tend to be really, really interesting back and forth. So thank you guys for watching, though. I'm really, really happy to be back and recording some videos for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it, uh, and we will jump back in with this Esper Super Friends list uh, at some point very, very soon. So please stay tuned uh, for more videos on that. But thanks again, guys, for watching. Please stay safe out there, and uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon.